In this video, we're going to go through question one of the 2016 probability distributions exam for NCEA level three. As you watch it, my advice is watch what you need to watch to get yourself started on a question and then pause it and try and have a go yourself. And that way you'll get a lot more out of it. And then maybe once you've done that, watch the next bit to see how you went. Okay, so looking at question one. So, we'll start by reading the goal of the question, usually the last sentence. Using an appropriate model, calculate the probability that it will take less than two minutes or more than six minutes for a shopper to find a car park. Okay. So we're dealing with continuous, well, a continuous variable, aren't we? Time. So which distributions could that be? We should be thinking about that already. Which distributions usually do we use to deal for con with continuous variables in this course? Now it could be the normal distribution, could be the uniform distribution, or the triangular distribution. So let's keep reading. Okay, so we're told the time it takes a shopper to find a car park at the supermarket can be modelled by a random variable that takes on values between 0 minutes and 8 minutes. The most likely time it takes a shopper to find a car park is 2 minutes. So we've got a minimum, a maximum and most likely. So which distribution has those three features to it? The model that we usually use for that is the triangular distribution model in this course. Easy to remember because a triangle has three points and we're given three pieces of information. Minimum, maximum and mode. So let's draw it. A good idea to bring to your exam is a see-through ruler like this one so that you can see what you're doing on the other side of it and um, I want to make this nice and big so I can see what I'm doing like so and I want to make its mode at two. So easiest way is if you use your ruler, and I find it easier if I rule up four centimeters on the ruler, and that just makes it easier in terms of counting the scale when you're working out how the height at different points. Just easier to visualize. So if I go up one, two, three, four, like that, and that's my mode, and then I'm just going to join that the minimum. like so. Okay, and the other, the two regions I'm being asked about in the question, uh, the probability it takes less than two minutes, so that's the zone in here, and more than six minutes. So that's going to be this zone in here. All right, the other thing I forgot to do is I need to label my graph. So I need to label the x-axis. So that is time in minutes. Okay. Now the first thing that we always need to do in calculating um, probabilities using a triangular distribution model is what? The first thing we have to do is to find the height at the mode, the peak. Okay, so how do we do that? See if you can remember, why don't you pause the video and see if you can work out the height at the mode. Okay, so how we do that is we know that the area of the whole thing is what? Well, remembering that because we're dealing with a continuous variable, time, the probability is going to be represented by the area. It's not going to be represented by the height. So we know that probabilities of all possible values must add up to what? Well, they must add up to one. One whole. That means that the area of this whole triangle is going to be equal to one. And that's always true. We also know the area of a triangle is what? Well, it's half times the base times the height. 
And when we talk about height, we're talking about the height at the mode, aren't we? The height right at the peak. So that equals 1. Okay, what's the base of this whole triangle? Well, in this case, it's 8, isn't it? The base is 8. So let's write that in. We know that half times the base, 8, times whatever the height is, equals 1. So let's, uh, let's, let's work out the value of that. So half of 8, half of 8 is 4. So 4 times the height, the mode, equals 1. And then dividing 1 divided by 4, we get 0 0.25, or 1 quarter. So, that means we can now write that in. The height at the mode is 0 0.25. Okay, so the next thing is, we also need to find the height at 6. So I'm going to call that H6. How do we do that? Well, there's quite a few different ways you could do that. The way I reckon is easiest is if you pretend that you're climbing up the distribution like a mountain and you're starting at that end. So in this case, we're starting at the right-hand end. We're starting at 8. And how far is it horizontally till we get to the mode? The mode's at 2, starting at 8, so that's a distance of 6. Now, how, what fraction of that are we when we get to the 6 mark? Because 6 is what we're interested in, isn't it? That's this bit here. So we're, we have to go 2 units to get to there, don't we? So that's 2 out of 6. So we're a third of the way along the mountain. So whatever fraction of the way we are along the mountain must be the same fraction up the mountain. So we must be a third of the way to the, to the peak at that point, mustn't we? So the height at 6 is just going to be the height at the mode divided by 3. So the height at the mode is 0.25, and if we divide that by 3, we get what? We get 0 0.083 recurring. Now if I was doing this myself, I'd probably use fractions, because then I can be more accurate. Um, if you're comfortable with fractions, use them, but I know a lot of people aren't, and you can still get um, to excellence without being really good at fractions. Um, if I was using fractions, I know that 0 0.25 is 1 quarter, and I want to divide that by 3, and 1 twelfth. So 1 twelfth is actually the, the more, more exact value for that height. Okay, so now I've got everything I need. I just want to work out those two yellow regions. I want to work out the areas, So, and then I'm going to add them. So, question said to find the probability that it will take less than two minutes or more than six minutes. So, probability it takes less than two minutes is going to be dealing with this triangle here. So, half times its base, which is two times its height, which is 0.25, and we get what? We get 0 0.25. And then I want to find the probability that it takes longer than 6 minutes, so it has a base of 2 and a height of 0 0.0. 8.3 recurring, or 1 twelfth, so 1 half times its base, times its height, and I'm, I am going to use the fraction version because it's more accurate, so, and we get 1 twelfth, or 0 0.083 recurring again, and 
the probability that it takes either less than two or more than six is just going to be the, the sum of those added up. So 0 0.333, 0 0.3 recurring or one third is the answer. So it was for merit and you just had to get the right answer. Uh, if you got either the left hand region, that's the less than two region, or the right hand region, that's the more than six region, then you got achievement credit. Okay, I'm going to do question B in a separate video.